Hey everyone, Amar here. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about living your edge. Why you need to live at your edge for you to really find out who you are, for you to really expand and grow. So I recently made a video when I talked about how I've been reading the book, The Way of the Superior Man. This is a chapter from that book. In the book, it's literally like two pages, but I really like the idea and it's something that a lot of psychologists a lot of self-development work revolves around this idea of living at your edge will expand you. So what I want to do here is help you understand how you can begin to live your edge more often. So in order to do this, I'm going to bring out the board and use this. As you can see here, I've drawn this circle. It's like a perforated circle. There's lines in the circle. This circle is a representation of you or at least it's meant to be. So I'll put you there. Everybody's circle is a different, let's say, size or a different level of expansion. Someone who you could say is a small person obviously is smaller. Someone who's a more expanded, a bigger person, their circle would be bigger. The thing is the circle can shrink or it can grow. Because obviously that's why I put the the broken lines, it shows expansion is possible. To just add to this, I would say people who've had a difficult life or trauma or a lot of negative conditioning, their circle is probably going to be smaller. Those people who maybe had good upbringing, have had positive experiences, are, are confident, they're going to naturally be more expanded. The good news is we can expand the circle and we can become more, right? Find more of ourselves. And we do that by living at our edge. So first thing you need to know is that this circle here, this is all your comfort zone. This is where you're truly comfortable. And the more you stay here, essentially, the more you're going to suffer. To put it bluntly, to live at your edge means you find your limit. The world we live in now is quite comfortable, which is good, right? I'm not knocking that. However, it's really stopped us from going to our edge. It's really stopped us from finding out what we're capable of because we're not actually built for comfort. We're built for life, we're built for adventure. And this safety and the security that exists in our culture now, where that's become the number one thing, it's kept us stuck here. And when you're stuck here, all these primal energies that you have literally turn inward and you get anxious, you get depressed. It's only when you begin to live here at your edge do you really begin to find out what life is about. <laughs> so it's a very, very powerful idea. Now, the first main key point here is that you need to find where your edge is. Everybody's edge is different right? For different areas of life. The only way to know where your edge is, is to sense it in your feelings and emotions. Let me give you an example. So you may be someone who is socially anxious, right? So in social situations, your edge isn't very expanded, but you have to get a feel for where that is. You've got to get a feel for when you're just touching the edge, just feeling a little bit of anxiety. Maybe it's just when you're in close proximity to someone, you feel the edge. You feel, okay, I'm approaching my edge now. Or it could be in any other area of life. I know even physical exercise, maybe when you're running, you start to feel when you're getting to your edge. That edge is just self-imposed. It's not an actual edge. It's just there due to your conditioning. But first, you've got to realize where your edge is. Everybody's edge is different. If you don't respect your edge, as you're going to find out, it can, it can really re-traumatize you. So respect your edge, find where your edge is. The next point is if you go too far beyond your edge, you're going to traumatize yourself. <laughs> I've done this. Some of you probably have, where you've felt you could do something which is way far beyond your capacity to handle it. So your edge is here. You've gone all this way, think I can do this. Maybe you've seen somebody else doing it. 
Okay, I can go way beyond my edge, I can do this thing. What that will do, it will actually destroy you on some level, right? This is what trauma is. Trauma is when you experience something that's beyond your capacity to handle, which is why a lot of trauma happens in childhood. Things that happen in childhood, it's way beyond what we can deal with, right? But this happens in actual life as well. Maybe someone pushes you to do something that's way beyond your capacity and it just, it destroys you, literally. I've had this happen to me. So this is why it's important to respect your edge. Now, living at your edge is not an easy thing to do. I'll be honest. Right? If you really live your edge, you will experience fear, anxiety, like stress. It's not a comfortable place to be, especially when you're used to living here. But don't push it too far. The more you take it to your edge and you can just get comfortable there, the more it's gonna to start to expand, right? And over time, you just become a more expanded person. But you have to start by just going to your edge, getting comfortable there. That's the only way to grow it, the only way to expand yourself in this model. And what happens when you begin to live your edge is you really start to find out who you are. Something, again, we don't find in this safe, secure culture, because we never go into our edge, there's parts of us that never actually get switched on or turned on, right? Parts of your brain never come online because there's no need for it to. You really have to put yourself in high pressure situations for you to get more of you working, right? Especially for guys. Guys, uh, the, the journey from boyhood to manhood, you've really got to go through something very, very difficult. I learned this the hard way, right? You go through something very, very challenging to, to grow out of boyhood and into manhood. But if you can't make that, you're never going to develop, right? So this is what I'm saying. You've got to find a way to test yourself, right? Physically, mentally, emotionally, not just physically, which is an easy one for a lot of people, but like socially, like social pressure, like these sorts of things. Like <laughs> you might be able to crush it in the gym, but how are you like around 10, 20 people. Can you really express yourself there? Do you see what I mean? So there's so many areas of life where we can live our edge. And that was my next point, is live your edge in every single area of your life. That relationships, career, finances, health, happiness, spirituality, in all your areas, find, in all these areas, find where your edge is and then lean into it right? Sometimes maybe you can just go a little bit beyond your edge, right? But don't overextend. A good place to experience your edge is in meditation. So when you're meditating, instead of just going through the motions and okay, I'm just doing my 10 minute meditation this morning. I used to do this, just do my 10 little minutes and then off I go. No, actually consciously take it as deep as you can in the meditation. Make the conscious intention. In this meditation, I'm going, to, I'm going to go to my absolute edge, right? When you get to the absolute edge, you might start to feel things you've never felt before. That's what the point of meditation is, but that's just one example. Take this idea of living at your edge and apply it to every single area of your life. Like I said, you'll really start to find out who you are. You'll really begin to expand in consciousness. If you're a male watching this, you're gonna to start to mature into a man, right? Because like I said, guys need this challenge, they need this test, and it can only be found here, and it's scary, it's not comfortable, right? I wish it was, <laughs> but you know what? If there was an easy way, I think I would've found it by now. But that is everything I've got to share with you in the video. Um, apply this to your own life, like I said, find where your edges, lean into it, do them things that make you expand yourself and just watch what happens. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless.